Hello everyone. Today I have an exciting news to share with you all. I'm over the moon because I have got band 8.5 in my IELTS speaking test. Ah, don't take it literally that I'm on the moon or over the moon. No, it is just a phrase that I used to share to express my happiness with you all. So basically what these phrases are? See, there are certain phrases or expressions that are used in English language that don't have any literal meaning. You cannot extract out their meaning cannot be understood just by reading the words. And these kind of phrases are known as idioms. And our session today is all about idioms. This is Ritika from IELTSmaterial.com and today I am going to tell you some common idioms that you can use in your IELTS speaking test to raise your band to 8 or 8.5. Let's get started. At times, a student find it extremely difficult to memorize all the idioms that they are going through on internet. But here in this video, I'll make it easier for you. I'll give you a trick that how easily you can use idiom in your IELTS speaking test. But before moving further, I want to tell you something which is important. See, if you are planning to use idioms in your IELTS speaking, then definitely it will help you to get a higher band. But knowing the exact meaning of the idiom and using those idioms at the correct place is equally important. So always make sure whenever you are planning to use any idiom, you know the exact meaning and you know that where you are placing that idiom. So today, what we are going to do is, I'll give you some idioms that you can use in place of the most commonly used expressions in your IELTS speaking test. There are many times in your IELTS speaking test, you want to express that you are happy or you are sad, you were frustrated, you were angry, you were excited. So why not replacing these expressions with the idioms? This will definitely help you to use idioms in your IELTS speaking in the easiest way. So my first idiom that I'm going to share with you all is to express your anger. Whenever you are angry, you can use the idiom bent out of shape. What does it mean? It means anger. You are angry. So you can use the idiom bent out of shape. Now how we can use this idiom in a sentence? You should apologize to Mary before she gets bent out of shape. So what does it mean here? You should apologize to Mary before she gets angry. So instead of angry, I use bent out of shape. In the same way, you can also replace this expression in your IELTS speaking with this idiom. Now the next expression that can easily be replaced by idiom in your speaking test is excitement. Whenever you are excited, full of suspense or curious to know what will happen next, then you can use the idiom on the edge of one's seat. I'm repeating on the edge of one's seat. It means you are showing your excitement. See, whenever you are getting a cue card like about your favorite movie or maybe any road trip, your favorite car journey or maybe any book. In all these kind of idioms, you can use this idiom on the edge of one's seat. So let us put it into an example. I have been on the edge of my seat waiting for my acceptance letter. So here I am actually excited to wait for my acceptance letter. So instead of excited, I use I am on the edge of my seat. So this is how you can use edge of my seat whenever you want to express your excitement. How you can express your annoyance, your irritation or your frustration with the help of an idiom. For these kind of expression, you can use an idiom which is getting on my nerves. For example, if you are getting a cue card like describe a time when you saw a child behaving badly in public, you can use the expression getting on my nerves. Now let us use this in an example. See, his constant humming is now beginning to get on my nerves. So basically the other person is making some humming sound and which is annoying you. You are feeling irritated or frustrated with that. So you use the idiom get on my nerves. Now when you are feeling bored. So what idiom you can use? It's be like watching the paint dry. 
Yes, the another idiom is be like watching the paint dry, which means something seems quite dull or boring to you. Let us use this in an example. Everyone liked that period drama, but to me, it is like watching the paint dry. It means that everyone likes that period drama, but it is boring to you. So we replaced boring with watching the paint dry. The next idiom is hold your horses. What does it mean? Whenever you want to express like you are advising someone to be patient or if someone is being impatient, whenever you need to use these kind of expressions, then instead of saying being patient or being impatient, say hold your horses. What can be the example for that? Hold your horses. You need to give a thought before getting into this. Now, what if you are not feeling well or you are lack of energy? Then you can express this as well with the help of an idiom. And the idiom for this is under the weather. Let us frame a sentence for that. Yeah, now I'm feeling fine. But yes, last week I was under the weather. So what does it mean? That this time I'm feeling better. But yes, last week I was not well. So try using this idiom as well. Now, the next idiom is on pins and needles. What does it mean? This means whenever you are expressing the state of being nervous or tensed or anxiousness, then instead of using these idioms, say on pins and needles. Now, let us use this idiom in an example. The example is, don't put Paula on pins and needles. Just give her a call. The another idiom that I have for you all today is down in the dumps. What does it mean now? It means when you are showing sadness. Then instead of saying that I was sad at that time, I am sad. You can say I was down in the dumps. Let us use this idiom into the sentence. She is bit down in the dumps because she failed one of her exams. So she is sad because she failed one of the exam. So instead of saying sad, we use down in the dumps. One more expression that is quite common to use in your IELTS speaking test is describing or showing how hardworking the other person are or how hardworking you are. Many instances we get a cue card like describe a person who is hardworking, describe a person you admire. So in these kind of cue cards, you can use an idiom burning the midnight oil. What does it mean? It means to stay up late at night either to work, to study, to read or maybe to do any other activity. So whenever you want to describe yourself or any other person as hardworking, instead of saying hardworking, you can say burning midnight oil. Now let us see an example for this. Mary burnt midnight oil in order to earn a doctorate degree. So with this idiom, we have almost covered all the commonly used expressions in your IELTS speaking test. Now what I'm expecting from you people is, instead of using the words of weak vocabulary, start replacing these common expressions with the idioms that I told you today. Trust me on this, you will find it extremely easy to incorporate idioms in your IELTS speaking test and definitely it will take you to a higher band. Now to have a quick recap of the idioms that we have learned, I have an exercise on the screen for you all. Please solve this exercise and try to complete these answers with the suitable idioms. Don't forget to share your answers in the comment box. I will share the correct answers very soon. This is it from my side today. Hope you found this video helpful. For more such videos, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. And now you all can follow us on Instagram as well. You will find all the links in the description box. Lastly, to find out, to check out the most comprehensive IELTS courses, don't forget to check our description box where you will get the link of our website as well. Thank you.